Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about something that was really interesting and it's small and it comes under $100. If you guys have watched my channel, you know that I'm constantly uh, rigging up this uh, Blackmagic 6K and I have my 4K as well. Um, really love my rig setup. It's, it's, it's heavy, it's huge, but it does what it needs to do. It's perfect. Um, I love the way that this turned out and I think it's amazing. It's great um, when paired with a good pair of sticks. Um, and putting it together on a production, it's, it's worked uh, flawlessly. Thanks so much for the comments, by the way. Uh, you know, people were commenting on the type of like wires that I might be using and the type of voltage that might be coming out of this breakout box. So appreciate those comments. Love that we're having that kind of conversation. Uh, so again, thank you so much. So you know that I'm really interested in rigging out these cameras and finding the best solution that's gonna work um, you know, for these cameras. So for my 4K, I usually have it a little bit more stripped down because I use it almost as my B camera, sometimes my A camera, but I wanted to talk about this product uh, that really makes this situation uh, much lighter for me, especially when I'm doing more run and gun. So over the past weekend, I shot uh, some stuff that was more handheld, um, I literally used a monopod uh, for, for the majority of the shoot. I spoke about that monopod in a, in a previous video and it turned out to actually work really, really well for me. Uh, but what I wanted to talk about is this. Uh, this is the Tilta Mini Map Box and it's the clamp on map box. It's really, really tiny, really small, comes with a lot of little features and it has a lot of great benefits. So let's find out if this thing is even worth getting. Um, do I recommend it? Um, I don't know, let's find out. So putting this on the 4K makes this a really, really light setup. You don't even feel this. So if I take this on and off, I don't even notice a weight difference whatsoever. What's great about this rig, I've got my small ring handle, uh, but now I've got this map box, I can control the light. So as you know, you know, lenses do flare and light, especially if you're pointing towards the light. Sometimes it's an artistic choice and that's fine. Um, and it works well and you use it for your advantage, but there are times where you don't want that light to kind of leak in. Um, so this is what a map box does. You can either kind of, you know, bring down the light by using an, an ND filter. Now there's, you know, screw on filters like this, which I've used in the past and they're great. I use them on my Sony's. I use them on some of my cinema lenses as well when I don't want to put the map box on and I just want to keep it a little bit lighter. So that's, that's one option. I can leave a link below for these type of uh, ND filters and I think they're great. But again, remember you have to get one that's going to fit on all your lenses or you got to get step up or step down rings, which will make them fit on different lenses. Again, it'll keep it further away from the glass so it's not an ideal situation. What's great about this map box is it does take filters. It does take the four x five filters, which I believe are standard. I do have a four x four filter uh, that I used on this map box here. I have a few map boxes. I'm a little obsessed with map boxes, but I've collected them over the years and can tell you which ones actually really worked and which ones didn't. Uh, but this one here is really interesting. It's really, really light. It gives you the options that you need. You could clamp this on onto rails as well um, and have it kind of mount onto your uh, lens, which is one way to do it, or you can just clip it on with the added uh, rings that it comes with, but it makes your gear super, super light, super small, super small profile. And again, I'm using a four x four filter. It's actually uh, works fine because the lens doesn't pick up anything on the sides of them, which is great. So, so far so good, but I do have a four x five filter as well uh, to go on here. What I like about this is A, the profile of it, it's great for a light setup. The fact that you have a flag that's really easy to push up and down, you can do it one hand, not a problem. Um, it feels pretty sturdy. It's made uh, from carbon and aluminum. It's really, really light. Now, with a flag, what's gonna happen is this. So if you're shooting against light, you'll get flare on your lenses. Um, and that's typical, especially the Rokinon ones pick up a lot of flare, um, which, you know, I like stylistically sometimes, but a lot of the times I don't want it. So, or if I'm shooting against the light and I want somebody kind of, you know, kind of popping out, but I'm against the light and I want to get that flare out, I just bring this down slightly and that will take care of it. I'll show you an example of how simple that is and how that happens um, and how this is helpful. Uh, beyond having, you know, the ability to put a, a filter 
into this. The downside of this, it only holds one filter. So if you wanted to use like a Pro Mist and then some sort of, you know, ND filter together, you couldn't do this with this because it only takes one. Uh, generally, I use one. Um, sometimes I use two. Uh, so for the bigger map boxes, you'll usually have, you know, you'll have two of them to put in there. As you can see, it's got two slots. Um, and you can put the filters in and control that, take it in and out, depending on the type of look that you want to deal with or how much light you want to cut out. Um, but most of the time I'm using one, so I think this is, this is kind of a great option. So um, it's built really well. It goes onto the lens, not a problem. And I'll put the details of what the different sizes are that fits on uh, lenses, so if you have them already. I think these are more built for um, photo lenses um, and the typical photo lens uh, thread on the lenses. So. Um, Again, really, really happy with this situation, really small, kind of manageable. Again, you have the issue with the power and everything else, but if you're going on kind of small shoots, taking some batteries with you, which I kind of had to do, I had to travel super light uh, for this particular thing that I did over the weekend, and I had to you know, keep it as, as low profile as possible, and this allowed me to do that um, you know, using the BM5 II uh, monitor, which was really, really nice. Such a great monitor. Um, it, but again, I had to put the battery on here. Nothing's powered by the V mounts. So I was switching batteries out, you know, every like 30 minutes or so, especially for the camera, uh, not for the monitor. Uh, so back to this thing. If you're looking for your first map box, or if you've had map boxes that you're kind of like want to go a little smaller profile, this is a good solution for you. If it's your first map box, I think it's a great solution for under $100. Um, I do recommend it. I think you should give it a shot. I think it's worthwhile. It's well built. Uh, and again, you know, dust will collect on this thing. So keeping the cover on uh, while you're not shooting is probably a, a good idea, especially if you're putting filters in here. Um, and that's it. I mean, it's a very, very basic uh, map box. Again, tiny. It's very, very cute, small, low profile. And um, that's it. So I'll get into the details. Uh, and talk about what came in this particular box. Um, now, what's in here is basically all the rings and adapters that will fit into your lens. You've got a 67 millimeter, uh, you've got an 82 millimeter, a 72 millimeter. So this one is the 77 millimeter ring that came with it, fits perfectly on this uh, Miyake lens. Um, this is the 16 millimeter lens, uh, if you're wondering. You also have, um, this uh, 15 millimeter clamp so if you wanted to put this map box uh, without actually just uh, the lens itself and just wanted to kind of push it forward where you may not want to use a ring um, you can do that as well that hooks onto this and let me show you how that works if you're using rails uh, that makes the the thing a little bit bigger but that'll give you an idea so this is it on the 6k rig obviously it makes it really low profile um, it definitely took down the weight a little bit i have to say uh, which makes this kit a little bit smaller. It does look a little funky. I haven't tested it out yet on this camera, uh, but it looks like to me, especially for these lenses, I would use these foam rubber rings that I would put to space in between these just to cut down some of the light and make sure this fits kind of perfectly. Um, it does feel a little bit looser than it did when I clamped it on the other. But again, I think if I take my time and do it, let's see if we can get this thing nice and sturdy. So usually I use these foam, uh, you know, these will kind of be like spacers or they'll keep the light out if my map box needs, needs that. Um, I had to do it with this one because it didn't have that. Some people put that kind of like extension hood on there to kind of make sure no light gets in. I use these foam uh, pieces. So let me put on uh, this map box with that. Hopefully it'll cut out some of that light and I don't have to use any of these um, rings to attach it to these cinema lenses. So let's take a look with that. All right, so we got it on the 6K. Um, again, it's not as uh, an easy of an experience as it was uh, just using the rings. I think I would probably use a step-up ring to put it directly on the lens itself. Um, I do have it mounted here uh, with this little foam ring just as a spacer to make it fit. Um, but it, it doesn't feel as sturdy as it did with, again, using what it came with. So that would mean I would need to get some step-up rings, which ones that I have that I'll use for this. Uh, but overall, it's really nice. It brings down the weight um, really significantly because this map box that I've been using, pretty heavy map box. I recommend it. I think it's really, really nice. I think attaching it to the lens is probably the best bet. I'm not sure, although it's really, really nice that they added this 15 millimeter um, adapter here. I think it's nice, but I'm not sure I would use that uh, for this. It seems a little bit more cumbersome. 
um, and the fact that I want to have no light kind of coming in and that's the whole point of it um, I probably won't use that but I will use uh, the actual um, rings that came with it with some step down or step up rings so so thanks again guys and I will see you next time please follow like and subscribe and hit that bell button if you want to see more videos see you later guys Thank you.